Well, scientists have now confirmed that there is some sort of an alien spaceship, probably like a hostile alien mothership that's heading towards Earth. And according to the Harvard scientist, it seems like the spaceship is probably going to be reaching towards the proximity of Earth during the month of December. Well, they even shared an image of what this thing looks like. And the reason why they're calling this as an hostile alien spaceship is because they believe that whatever this thing is that's currently flying towards our solar system is said to be doing some very very weird things which doesn't look like any sort of a comet or any random rock that just floats around in the space so there is a very specific reason as to why some of the scientists from Harvard they believe that this whole massive spaceship thing is actually a hostile alien now before we jump into the details of the alien spaceship you guys need to watch this because a few months ago we also covered this information where there were a lot of you know whistleblowers who claim that they have been working with these secret organizations who supposedly have some sort of a contact with the fallen angels now usually they call these fallen angels as aliens but then these whistleblowers apparently worked on these projects with these secret organizations in antarctica and these guys have started telling the truth about what they really worked on and we also covered this in my previous videos but what's interesting is that one of these whistleblowers was very specific about what's about to happen and what the government and the scientists are about to do in the coming months and this statement was something that he just revealed six months ago and just right after six months, it seems like they have officially just done what he said would happen. Just take a look at what he has to say here. Zero doubt. That lie is coming. What is the lie? Look at this stuff. Specifically, you want me to say it right now? For real? Real? On camera. Mm -hmm. To be put in the show? Yes. Okay. Problem with that. If we tell the lie before it's told, mm -hmm. they can adapt. That wouldn't be wise. Is it that lie? It's going to be that there is a craft slowly making its way to us here on Earth. That's exactly and that what he says. Is the lie they're going to want you to believe? Mm -hmm. It's nuanced. How they explain that, the nature of that threat, but that one percent is the lie you are going to be told. You even got a date. People been whispering a date for a long time. Oh, so they already planned this whole I stuff. I know where that lie comes from. Mm -hmm. I why? know specifically what document from the 70s initiated the idea of that lie. Oh, so he's basically talking about the Project Blue Beam. I don't know if you guys know about the whole Project Blue Beam stuff. You know, the government and the classified guys, they're just going to be conducting a massive project where they're going to make, you know, second coming using all these technologies and drones. And they're just going to portray a massive alien invasion. And after that, there will be one dude who's going to save everybody from that. And he's going to create one world order, which means that there will be only one government, only one ruler, and that's going to be Antichrist. So that's basically what the project blue beam is all about where they are going to make a complete lie up and they're just going to create their own second coming of christ and whoever this person will be who's going to save us all from this alien invasion is going to be the antichrist and that's the cia classified document that he's talking classified about here. document that is the lie you will be told you're going to be told that there is a craft on its way to earth that's exactly that's what's going on right now maybe i'm wrong i hope i'm wrong i sent you two texts today mm -hmm. with a year not from me with a year the biggest lie is going to be 2027. Nope. I'm not going to propagate that lie. I'm not going to be part of it. I'm not going to say it to the camera. Everybody knows. Just start paying attention. And they'll change the date, especially if they see this. Things will change. Because mm -hmm. maybe I'm trustworthy. Maybe I'm worthy of your trust. Maybe I've told you the truth the whole way through it. Now you can verify it. That's exactly what he was called when he came out and gave this information as well. A lot of people said that he's just making stuff up just because he wants the fame, just because he wants the attention. You know, people just do all kinds of random stuff and whatnot. But right now, six months later, we have just discovered that the whole situation that he was talking about, which is the massive alien spaceship or whatever that's going to be coming down towards Earth. And they now claim that it's going to be in a hostile alien spaceship as well. And apparently Harvard's astrophysicists are basically saying that a Manhattan sized object in our solar system could be an alien spacecraft. So it's as big as entire city of Manhattan, and that's how huge that is. This was also spoken about in Joe Rogan's podcast. Take a look at this about stuff. 130,000 miles an hour. Yeah, that might solve all our problems. Some intergalactic object that's hurt. This mm -hmm. is this guy, Avi Loeb. He's a professor at Harvard that believes it might be an alien probe. 
Wow. And he was talking about the odds of this thing being in the traje- trajectory that it is entering into our solar system in a direct path with Earth. The odds are extremely low. And the biggest reason as to why they believe that this is a spaceship and not just any random rocks that's just floating around in our solar system is number one, because it's moving extremely weird and it's also moving very, very faster than any type of rock would be floating around in space. Now, most rocks in space, they are known to be drifting apart at a very predictable speed. But then this thing, it seems like it's moving extremely fast and sometimes it just slows down and then it starts increasing speed and it just moves in and it just starts moving in all different directions where it basically seems like someone is operating the stuff. Now, it's also flying in a very convenient path. Now, what's actually weird about this whole thing is that it's moving from one planet to another in a very specific direction. Now, if it was just a rock, it's probably just going to float in a specific direction where it might look like a mindless rock that's just floating around in space. But then this one, it specifically is swinging around from one planet to another. And so it's basically checking out every single planet and collecting all the data from those planets. Because first it went all the way to Venus and then it seems like it went to Mars and then it moved on to Jupiter. And finally, it seems like it's going to be hiding behind Sun. Now, according to the scientists, we know that these things are obviously lies, but then the explanation that these guys are giving is that the aliens are basically scouting around and they're trying to go from planet to planet. And finally, they're just going to hide behind the sun. And for a moment, it seems like people from Earth will be able to see the spaceship, which it will be flying very close to sun in the month of December. And then it's going to be hiding behind the sun on the other side of sun so that we can't really see what it's doing. So probably the scientists are believing that, you know, our telescopes are not going to be able to pick it up. So apparently they are assuming that we can't really know what they're doing. And some of the scientists are stating that, you know, they're just probably just dropping off some sort of a cargo, or maybe they're just planning or plotting something, or maybe just giving a surprise attack. We never know. Now, obviously, a lot of us have been knowing about this whole thing from many, many years ago. We already spoke about Project Bluebeam, you know, the thing where they're going to just basically orchestrate alien situation where, you know, aliens are going to attack using some of these holograms where they're going to be projecting them using drones and all these different things in the sky. And that's one of the reasons why they've also been spraying our skies. Now, I don't know how many of you guys are aware of how these jets that's just flying around have recently been spraying some sort of a weird chemical around in the sky, which just looks very unusual and the clouds look very unusual. And the reason why they're doing these things is possibly because they want to use these projected cloud-like format. According to the Project Bluebeam, the reason why they're going to be spraying the stuff is because they can basically use the screen in the sky where they can now start projecting images that will start reflecting from the clouds that they have projected up in the sky. This is basically all just planned for many years and they've been working on the stuff and once they're ready, it seems like December is the time. So as far as what the scientists have said, the place where it's doing it, it's when the Earth is the opposite side of the sun. So it's coming from behind the sun. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, so it makes it difficult to detect. Hmm. And that this object is in a direct line to come to Earth in 2027. Do they have Oh, so they're going to come to Earth in 2027? And that's exactly what that other dude also said, man. I mean, that was the exact freaking year that he also mentioned, which is going to be 2027. And that's what the scientists are also saying. The trajectory of where it's going to land? I don't think they totally know that yet. I think Mm -hmm. they're trying to calculate Mm -hmm. whether or not it's actually going to hit Earth or come near Earth or pass by Earth or what it, you know, what it is. Why why? do they think it's an alien Mm -hmm. satellite or whatever? Well, there's this guy, Avi Loeb, this professor that I'm discussing. He also had uh, an analysis of another object that passed by Earth. I think he's talking uh, about that few years years back that they named. And they said that this thing had a very bizarre uh, metallic sort of a look to it that he Mm -hmm. did not think based on the shape of it and the way it was traveling that it was natural. So he thought that that could have been some sort of an alien craft Mm -hmm. as well. I don't know. It's too fun. It's too fun. But as it gets closer, we could probably decipher. Scientists give chilling update on mysterious interstellar object racing through our solar system as they warn it's even bigger than we thought. Provide a chilling update on a mysterious interstellar object that's racing through our solar system. Using data from the Vera C. Rubin Observatory, experts have revealed just how big the object dubbed 31 
Atlas really is. According to their analysis, the object measures roughly seven miles in diameter. Wow. Holy fuck. That's How big. big is New York City? Bigger than Mount Everest, hmm. making it the what? largest interstellar object ever spotted. Professor Avi Lo- Imagine, just imagine a massive, massive spaceship that's bigger than Mount Everest, just standing up in the sky. It, it kind of just reminds me of that movie. I think it's called Independence Day. I mean, take a look at this right here. This is like the clip from the Independence Day movie from 1996. You know, there is a massive, I mean massive spaceship that just stands right about in the sky. And that looks crazy. I think this is probably what they're, you know, basically trying to create or whatsoever, man. And that's just crazy. And it just starts annihilating everywhere. Starts burning each and everything, you know, destroying everything, all the buildings and stuff. So this is basically what the movies were preparing us for all these years ago. It seems like Hollywood and the movies and whatever, man. All of these things are just preparing us for something that these people have already planned for many, 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 many years ago. And that's probably Project Bluebeam. And the dude also spoke about this. And initially, when the whistleblower came out and he said, well, 2027, they were gonna announce that, you know, the spaceship is here. And before that, they're gonna start the talk saying that, you know, there's a massive thing that's coming towards Earth or whatever. And initially, a lot of people said that, well, he's just bullshitting. That's, that's exactly what they said. And I too was not really keen into believing that stuff. And right now, seeing that they are literally saying the exact same thing, including the date being 2027, it finally seems like like the whistleblower was actually right. And another important thing that this dude says is that they are basically lying to us. And it seems like the whole organization that's behind this is basically lying. And apparently they're just gonna make a second coming happen on their own terms. And that one is not gonna be real. And we should be very aware because we already know what the scripture says that there will be a fake second coming. Many will come before him claiming that it is he, he is the Messiah. But at the end of the day, the entire world will eventually witness. They're using technology in order to like create this stuff. And I think as we start moving towards 2027, crazy things are gonna start happening. And and it seems like their whole project, they're just trying to activate it. And moving forward, it just seems like, you know, life is going to be a roller coaster. Crazy things happening all around. Now, genuinely, I want to know, what do you guys think about this whole situation that's going on and the mothership coming to Earth and all the lies that these guys have been spreading across on the world? I want to know your take. Let me know down below in the comments. And at the end of the day, the only thing that I would honestly suggest every single one of you guys to believe in is genuinely these scriptures, man, because these things... This book right here, it already gives us all the information we need to know about what's going to happen, what's coming, and what's happening right now. So I think we already have the truth, and we already know what's happening. And these secret organizations, they're never going to stop. They're just going to try doing whatever they have to, and we just need to sit back and watch the show until the real second coming happens. Now, honestly, leave your thoughts down below in the comments. It's going to be a very, very interesting topic to go ahead and discuss and see what you guys have to say about this whole stuff. And yeah, if you guys did go on and enjoy today's podcast, please make sure to go ahead drop a like on this video and also leave a comment down below because that way the youtube algorithm basically gets to know that a lot of people are liking the video and commenting the video which means that we should start showing this video to more people and obviously youtube is such a platform which does not allow people to know the real information so they're going to try their best in order to make sure that this video doesn't reach as many people as possible so the only thing that you guys can do is basically just share this video with whoever you can drop a like drop a comment so that the algorithm is forced in order to show this video to many people as possible so that they can wake up and see what's actually going to happen and what's coming. So with that being said, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you guys in the next one. Till then, take it easy, fans, and goodbye.